Okay, at 7 o'clock, I'd like to call a meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. Everybody's here tonight, either via Zoom or present. Um, old business, approval of minutes. The regular meeting minutes of July 7, 2022 are attached. I need a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of July 7, 2022 as presented. So moved. moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Call a roll. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Clemens? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Sudnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Motion passed. Audience participation. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the council on an item that is not on the agenda? I see no takers. Okay, new business, executive session for personnel matters. It's item number one actually the only item uh, I need a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters pursuant to the non-elected personnel matter exception KSA 75-4319 Bravo 1 for a period of 20 minutes beginning at 7 2150 I'm gonna wait until 702 that's easier. 702. 702 and ending at 722. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Call a roll. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Clemens? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Studnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Motion passed. Need a motion to return to open Page session. Oh, wait. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second to return open session. Call the roll. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Clemens? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Sudnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Okay, so reports. Anything from the department heads? One of you out here. Nothing from Matt. All right. City Attorney. Tim. He's talking about oh. the You're not on. Turn your volume on. Oh. Uh, I got to get to it. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Uh, no, Mayor, I have nothing to report. Depends on if there's any questions in reference to the, the I guess, the cessation of litigation at Supreme Court. Okay. Thanks. Now, City Administrator. Sorry, Tim. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're looking up at the screen. Like, Tim. No, I... Uh, I don't have a lot, just kind of recapping on some things that are going on right now. Uh, it's been really exciting to see the progress out at Bernard Park. Uh, we've been posting a lot of pictures as uh, things are happening. Uh, so the building is starting to go up now. Uh, so it's been really fun to see a lot of the positive feedback about Bernard Park. Um, we've scheduled a coffee with the city administrator on Saturday, August 13th at 8 a.m. Uh, so we'll do that here. Um, we're also talking about doing some type of live stream. We're still discussing whether or not to do that on Facebook Live or on uh, YouTube. So, uh, but we are going to try to do it uh, live stream somehow. Um, I know the uh, you know we're still getting a lot of uh, questions and calls about fiber installation, and uh, you know I I wish I had this great news and I was able to tell you guys it'll be done next week, but I mean it'll. It'll still be a couple more months. I know those guys are going as fast as they can. Uh, they want to be out of those neighborhoods too, I can tell you that. Um, but uh, and, and like we had spoken about at the previous meeting, uh, it's their responsibility to get that grass growing again once the fall hits. Um, but I know people are, you know, we've, we've heard from a fair amount of people, we know people are frustrated right now. Uh, the other component of it too is uh, July and August is just a bad time to be growing new grass. Uh, but, uh, but again, I know they're working
aren't. They want to be out of there just as much as uh, you know the residents want them out of there too. So, uh, those are the main things I have. All right. Thanks, Ken. And we'll go around the council. Gene, starting with you. I don't have anything. Thanks, Gene. Marcus? Uh, Tim, do, do we have that map that lays out the cables either going behind the homes or the cables going in front of the homes? Do we still have that that we can, that shows by street where they're going? Because some part of my neighborhood, everything is um, in the back of the homes versus the front and then some of it is everything's in the front and so I'm getting a lot of questions on are they going to tear up our front when everything is already in the back all the cables all the cable boxes everything's in the back easement are you talking about like a, a plan specific to your neighborhood or the example we put on the screen last maybe week? specific to the neighborhoods that we're doing clear wave not so much AT&T but the clear wave we, if we we've got something you, like that uh, like the, the plats for your neighborhood that yeah. will show where all of the easements are and everything. Yeah, and it'll show where they're going to run the you know run the cabling because <clears throat> different parts of that neighborhood I'm in have yeah. easements in the back yeah. versus easements in the front. Yeah, and I just want to be able to lay that out. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can send that over to you. Yeah, that's all I've got, Mayor. Thank you. All right, thanks, Marcus. Jesse. I don't have anything. Just uh. We're having a COVID wave fly across the Midwest, so just be careful where you go and who you get next to. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I got. Is that why you're staying at home? All right. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> uh, Greg. Here on this day in history, July 21st, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first men to actually walk on the moon. You remember that? stepped on the moon yesterday. Right, but they actually, the two of them went out today. That's all I have, Mayor. Okay, thanks. Dan? I did have to uh, take some complaints uh, up in my area, up on Willow Court. A mover came in, moved in the family, and then abandoned a 53-foot trailer on a cul-de-sac, blocking one house in totally and making the other two go around it, and it sat there for eight days. Uh, homeowners called the moving company. They said, I'll be there tomorrow, and tomorrow never came. You know how the song goes, right? Yeah. So I got a phone call. Uh, I called the code enforcement. Thumbs up. They were out there within 30 minutes taking pictures and looking at it. Uh, they suggested I call the police, call the police. They were out there within 30 minutes, uh, and the truck was moved the same day. So. Uh, thumbs up to both those departments. Got quick action, and it resulted in happy citizens. Good. Good news. Is that it, Dan? That's it. Okay. Thanks. Kerry? I don't have anything, Mayor. All right. Thanks, Kerry. Don? Uh, the only thing I want to talk about, we had on our agenda here Josh Walker from Walker Family Healthcare. I went to their, uh, they joined the chamber last week, and I went to their Grand opening or whatever they yeah. did down over here. And uh, family owned uh, business, uh, young man, and uh, I think they'll do well. He, he has uh, home health and whatever, but he he's contracting. He says his company is going to contract with like other companies to provide home, home health care personnel, you know, like, you know, for grandma home, or whatever you need, whatever. Yeah. And so uh, he's just getting off the ground. Uh, an interesting note here, side note, his father, uh, Emmanuel Walker, uh, used to be the service writer up here at Main Street, Chrysler Plymouth Dodge for many, many years. Emmanuel. And uh, he's a good, good man and it's a good family, so I think uh, we got a good, another good business in town here. And that's all I have here. Thank you. I oh, appreciate it. Thanks, Don. Dave? Dodge has nothing, man. Nothing. Can I make a motion that uh, we adjourn? I have a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. Call the roll. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Clemens? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Studnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>